Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with Easy Town TNT. I'm Mike D. Explosive. I'm Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. And we're playing Madden 20 with Sam Blazer for the Niners. Yes. We're playing with the game. <laughs> we are playing the game, dude. Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the game. Yeah, dude. Um, have you ever uh, been to a uh, wrestling event, UFC event, or boxing event? Yo. Other than, like, I, Peter's fight. I have a great story about this, actually. Awesome. Good thing I asked. All right. So I've only been to one WWE event in my entire <laughs> life. Okay. And, and my older brother took me. Okay. Uh, like, how old were you when you went? Wow. Um, maybe, like, 15 or 16. Okay. So, like, and, an old enough to, like, be kind of, like, aware of what's going on, but not, like, the yeah. kid. Like, oh, my God, there's Hulk Hogan. Like, yeah. yeah. And my brother, you. he's, like... 14 years older than me so I, oh I guess okay I so say. like he was grown yeah he was near 30 okay. at this point in time right, right, okay. if not 30 but either way so we go there and um i make like a cardboard sign that says like smackdown 316 or something yeah yeah, yeah right. i was all proud of it dude right. i left it in the car so oh bad. you didn't even take it in <laughs> Didn't take it in, but I made the sign, dude. SmackDown 316. Seats weren't the best. We were like up a couple rows. I remember like watching just a wrestling thing, and there's like this this kid next to me, and, like directly next to you. Yeah, he's like sitting in the seat next to me, and I'm just like hanging out with my brother. Like hell yeah, dude, we're about to watch some wrestling. This kid sitting next to me, and he I noticed that he looks over at me. And he kind of like does like he leans forward and just like looks at me. I'm like, mm. and then like I take a look over while he's not looking and I lean over and I'm like, wait a minute, I know you. And he's like, eh? and he says my name and I'm like, Robert. And I say his name. And he's like, hell no. It was a kid that I went to elementary school with. Oh, really? But in a totally different, like, in, like, Cleveland, like, inner city Cleveland. This was, like, uh, I currently live in, like, Euclid, which ain't very far from there either. But either way, it was just, like. And your of, seats were next to each other. Out of all the people in that. And then it's, like, I knew this kid. Me and him used to play basketball together and stuff like oh, that. Wow. We would and hang then, out. Yeah, those are very assigned seat events. Yeah. So he bought the specific ticket right next to you. Yeah, so I thought that was very, very weird. That was the closest thing I've ever gotten to winning anything, though. <laughs> that was a win? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I won. I beat the numbers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, you and then you went to, we went and watched uh, our friend Pete box. I saw Is Peter that the box. first time you ever went to boxing? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and I've, I've never even seen a UFC event. So I there was, what was that one guy uh, who lived in Ashtabula who was like a UFC fighter? You know who I'm talking about. Wait, what? He was like, uh, well, he was mixed martial arts. Like he was, he was known around town. Really? I guess I don't know who he is. <laughs> I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I know it was our circle that introduced me to at least him existing. And everybody was like, "Yeah, we went to school with him." I was like, "Oh, really?" Oh, I don't know who the heck that is. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a. I, I mean, he obviously didn't make it super, super far, but I actually did watch him on video, like. Yeah, I used to watch UFC somebody. events all the time on video, yeah. but like. I've never been to one live. <laughs> Jonas hot take, man. I don't really want to see another guy beat the hell out of another guy. I only really watch boxing or UFC socially. Like if like people want to get together yeah. and watch a fight, I'm cool. You'll never catch me sitting around watching UFC by myself. Yeah. I just, hot take, Jonas. It, okay, look, I understand the whole thing is like it's barbaric. Yeah, it is. But on the same note, I can understand allowing the barbarism to happen. Like if some dude steps to your mom and says something disrespectful. Yes, let the barbarism fly. Let the fights and the punches be swung. But for people to sit there and just like watch it and be like, oh, this is entertaining. Oh, look, yeah. at, look at the way he's punching this other man. Like, dude, <laughs> just break it up. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, don't, yeah, I don't, Somebody stop I, I get, I get that. Um, I just, I don't know. I mean, I... I guess I get why people watch. I mean, people have been watching boxing since the beginning of time. Same sort of thing. But, but just, if you think about where it started, it started like gladiator fights. 
I mean, it started with just like probably two people fist fighting in the street. Yeah, that's and then somebody was like, "Hey, we can monetize this." Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, but yeah, the Coliseum, that, that's a whole nother level. I don't want to see that either. And there's people to advocate for that to come back. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. If, they're, if they put, like, Death Row inmates. <laughs> no, fight man. Fight for your freedom? We can't. Fight for your freedom. That's what they would call it. You are. You think this is a great idea. <laughs> no. We've discussed we, this. We talked about this on the podcast. <laughs> I was just playing devil's advocate. I do not think it's a good idea. Um, <laughs> fight for your freedom. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and they literally just walk out free after. Like, you, like you, you're on death row. You you kill the other man. The gate's open. And you just walk out into the population. <laughs> the credits like, roll. The worst, the worst thing you could ever do. Just, like, release, like, a terrible, like, person who's been put on death row. <laughs> just let him go out into the... <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, you know, this is going to be, like, the end of every movie, dude. Next scene, they're going to be hugging their daughter. Right, right, right. <laughs> And their girlfriend's gonna and accept them like, back, start then, a new then, life. Then a few months down the road, they're fighting terrorists, like trying to save the world. Exactly. Yep. The government needs their yeah. special yeah. set of skills. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, basically the plot line to uh, Bad Boys Three. No. Basically. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's not the plot to Bad Boys Three. Have you seen Uncut Gems yet? No. We gotta it's see. It's out that. of theater. It's no, it is not. It is, dude. It, it is it not. It was a jank movie. It only had like. I heard that movie was really. Oh good. no, no! I mean, it was. Like, it just wasn't a mainstream movie. Those things it, don't stay in the theater for a long time. Yo. Dude, even like Joker was only in the theater for like a short amount of time. That movie it just won Best Actor or something. It won Best Oscar for movie Oscars. Best. Uh, I'm looking up to see where Uncut Gems are. Un is still playing. Cut. Yeah. Because it's got to be down the street still. It's there's, not. I checked. I was going to go see it. There's nothing else even out. Yeah, right. That's why I don't go to the movies ever. Because there's nothing. to. I would go to the movies every week probably if there was movies I wanted to go spend that much money to see. Oh, man. You're right. We'd have to go to the alley to see it. The alley? What is that? <laughs> the draft house. Oh. Yeah. And it's only got one showing. Yeah. Oh, you're right, dude. Which draft house was it? The one that's like closer. Slaughter. Joe, I don't want to just have people able to triangulate where we are, dude. We're right? in Austin, bro. Slaughter is a miles and miles long road. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Uh, no, E6. Oh, it's downtown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I don't oh, like going sorry. downtown, bro. Sorry you feel that way. Dude, going downtown is a pain in the A. The, I have to say is that downtown Austin, is as long as you don't go on peak hours, it's not that bad. No, it's just downtown Cleveland, stuff is I feel like. Oh, my God. Down on Cleveland is the worst. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, my God. I hate <laughs> like I don't, I, I don't hate down there, but I hate having to go to downtown Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. I oh remember God, having to go dude. to downtown Cleveland. Yeah, especially like anywhere between eight and six p.m. <laughs> like I, I feel like Tower City was just like the epicenter for where you don't want to go. Oh God! And then anything in like a twenty mile radius outside of that. It's so bad, dude. You know, uh, and you know what? Now that I've lived somewhere that has frontage roads, I don't know how I ever lived in Cleveland that didn't have frontage roads. I mean, they they started putting more of them in by the time I left. You've well, been, it's just an old city, man. Like you yeah. can't you can't add a frontage road. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. you've got to have enough room for a road on either side of the freeway. But they they did well, at least the area I stayed in. They had some, but I didn't live in Cleveland. Cleveland I people, uh, people outside. like when I tell people about like. Yeah, like the exit ramp just goes to the traffic light and it backs up on the freeway. Yeah. People are like, what the F? That seems super dangerous. And I'm like, oh, yeah, and there's snow and ice and all that other stuff. And they're like, how did you not all die? I'm like, well, you learn to respect the road, man. You do. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like a kid that's born in the Himalayas. He comes down here. He's like, y'all got it easy. <laughs> y'all can't breathe down here? Yeah. Right. You tired? You winded right now? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, uh, yeah, dude, because it's like you're going 70 miles an hour in the right lane of the freeway in the snow. All of a sudden, it's backed up. The on the off ramp's backed up into your lane, and you're like, what the F? Like, I honestly don't understand how anybody in the South ever gets into a car accident ever. I, I, I know. It's, in, it's, in, <laughs> it's impatience, dude. It's impatience. That's what it is. I remember driving, and I saw a freaking uh, 
a dump truck, like a garbage truck, the kind that like has the garbage and picks it up and puts yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I saw a garbage truck laying on its side one day. I swear <laughs> to God, I, should, I wanted to take a picture and put it on Reddit because I was like, it was going to give me a million internet points. <laughs> right. But yeah. I didn't because I was at work. But I saw this garbage truck. And I'm like, how the hell do you flip a garbage truck on dry pavement, man? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> If you're going like 70, have your phone out. <laughs> like, what are you yeah, doing? Like, you can fl- like, it takes a lot to flip any car. Let alone <laughs> a goddamn garbage truck. Now, I understand garbage. They might be a little top heavy, so maybe they are easier to flip. But how are you flipping garbage truck on dry pavement? Drive. Right. It ain't like it's snowing and you spun out or something. There like. was no other car involved, as far as I could see. It was all garbage truck damage. Yeah, dude. They, uh,. Yeah, they. But you know, I'm not. I'm not going to say that we're better drivers. We are just used to more we extreme are able to drive in more versatile conditions. Yeah, like I feel like when conditions. I'm in a car, throw anything at me, I can get through it. <laughs> Rainstorm, blizzard, hail, whatever. Yeah. I will. I have driven through some terrible weather. This guy is sure of his skills. Absolutely. Yeah, you know what, Jonas? Uh, I feel like this is a man thing too, because I feel the same way. I've driven through like I can't even see. Right, like you, the whole time I'm like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, yep. I'm gonna. But you didn't, you made it. Yep. Like I've driven many times when I shouldn't have driven. Probably. Yep. I remember. Oh, dude, I remember one time. Uh, it was in Florida, and my girl needed to pick her mom up from the. Uh, what do you call it? The airport. Yeah. And it started like a tsunami. It was bad. You could not see five feet in front of you. Oh, just like torrential downpour yeah. rain. And it got to the point where like she was like, I can drive. And I was like, man, you should just pull over. And she did not want me to drive. But she was like, you take the wheel because I can't see where we're going. Right. And I was like, all right, I'm on the freeway. We're going to 15. Right. But we lived. Right. Oh, <laughs> and we made it. Yeah, I have no problem going super slow in bad yeah. weather. Yeah. It's like, but I do push the limit sometimes. That, that, that's a good feeling, though, when somebody just hands the wheel over to you and lets oh, <laughs> look at You know it, too, man. You know the feeling. Yeah. Like, hey, look, I'm just going to go ahead and put my life in your hands. That happened to my, with my ex-wife, too, because she, cause she can't drive in snow, dude. There yeah. be It was like she never had to deal with snow. Like, yeah. So, like, there was, like, yeah, there was, yeah. I've driven in some really bad conditions. <laughs> right? Really bad conditions. I've almost right. been killed by a snowplow coming up from behind yeah. me that didn't see me because the weather, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I look in my mirror. I'm like, those flashing lights are getting awful damn close to me. I'm like, let me just move over. And they're like, boosh. And I'm like, he would have murdered me. He didn't even know I was here. I was in the right. Like, yeah. yeah we used to we used to lose control of our car in the snow for fun. Yeah. I used, used to, to try- purposely like go up to a stoplight and like stop on the yeah, yeah, you, you turn, you cut the wheel all the way, and then you hit the gas as hard as you can. And it's like, boosh. When your ass then slides out. Yeah, yep, that was fun. We didn't have or nothing you, to or do. You, or you cut the wheel and slam the brake, and the ass then slides yeah. out. On you. <laughs> and then sometimes it would get out of control. <laughs> You'd be like, oops. Yep, yeah, oops. Oh, uh, you go to a parking lot. You could have so much fun, dude. Oh, you, you go as fast as you can, slam the brake, cut the wheel, and you're just like, whoosh. Yeah, oh, God, I missed yo, that. We so didn't have much. anything to do in that. <laughs> <laughs> It was so fun, though. It oh, my fun, God. But it was also the absence of options. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Where we were like, oh, let's just go get into an accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I can proudly say that, like, I have I spun out once on the freeway, but yep. that was just, like, it was. I wasn't being a goofball. I was, that literally was legit in the snow. Mm-hmm. I just, it just, my car lost control. There was too much snow on the road. I was driving to school. <laughs> like, not, uh, not high school, college. <laughs> My tires were bad when that happened to me, and I actually, like, damaged my vehicle. Yeah, my, mine probably were, too, I would bet. Usually your tires don't spin out if they're not bald. Yeah. And, you know, that's the other crazy thing is that growing up, man, we were not keeping up on the tires either. So we're talking about bad tires on even worse roads. Oh, yeah. And we learned through trial and error how to navigate them streets. Oh, man. yeah. Dude, here? Oh, my God. You don't have to replace your tires, like, ever. Because it's never, like, the only thing you got to worry about is if it rains sometimes. Like, that's yeah. the only, and that's it. But, like, everyone here drives, like, four miles an hour if it's sprinkling, so it doesn't matter. You can't go fast if you want to. <laughs> Last night, dude, I was driving home, right? Uh. Perfectly. Weather was perfect. Like, 50 degrees outside, no precipitation, dry roads, speed limit on this road is 60, 
I was going 45 for miles because I, I couldn't even get through the traffic. To, I'm like, why is everyone going 45 miles an hour? It's 60 miles. What, what is happening? It's that one person, man, that just refused to move <laughs> over a lane. <laughs> Is that one person? I'm like, they're like, I'm going to good speed. <laughs> I got a line of cars behind me, and we're all going to good yeah, speed. Yeah, well, it's going to safely get where we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to get there safe. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. I'm just like, you're, you're welcome. You get to see your wife tonight. I'm like, what is happening right now? And I, I, I feel like I say that in Austin every time I go anywhere. Yeah. I'm like, why are we going 50 miles an hour on the freeway? I will admit is that. Uh, when I look back at like Cleveland drivers, or even when I look back at like uh, even New York drivers, yeah. I have to say there's more aggression. Oh yeah, there's some aggressive drivers down here too, but there's definitely more aggression up north when it comes to driving. Oh for sure, and I, I love that people are like people drivers down here are such dicks, and I'm like, yeah, you think that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do encounter the one thing I that I don't like about the drivers here is that. They have. They all have this mentality of like, as soon as they turn their signal on, it's okay to just pull over. Like they're like, my signal's on. They just go. Like it's not like, is there room for me? It's like, by putting the signal on, they'd be like, it's my turn to go now. Yo, that's that's the New York. What, what we used to call that? The New York. Uh, ah, the New York lane switch, I think, or something along those lines. Where you just like turn your blinker on, you see there's enough space because I've I've do this all the time. The same trick you're like, <laughs> no, but like if there's enough space, it's good. There's a lot of people who do it without split. They just they literally turn it on, just start pulling over. Whether you you can <laughs> you can be halfway up their car and they're just like, <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> All right, so look, you know, it's not going to be in your textbooks if you're in driver's ed. But this is kind of how you have to do it. <laughs> or how are you going to get over? Wait till there's room. Uh, I mean, turn on your signal. Wait till there's room. I mean, okay, you've seen this happen a bunch of times. Did those people successfully do it? Or did an accident occur in any of these? But it's like putting it all on the other drivers. It's like they're taking no responsibility and like. All right, so I'm I'm holding my hands up and I'm shrugging right now, and Jonas. You're the shrugging like, emoji. Uh, yeah, my my shrugging is intensifying. My head is getting closer you to are my the people chest. I hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. I get it, and I get the reason why because I have definitely been the guy who turns on your signal and is waiting for an opportunity, and no one will let you in. Yeah. You gotta so, push your way over sometimes. Yeah. And I'm not saying like every time you switch lanes, you should be cutting somebody off. Right, right. And like forcing them to slam on and their brakes. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't understand. I'm just being a little facetious. But, <laughs> All right, but, yeah. but yeah. It, I feel like it is a valuable skill. You need to know how to do that. How to how to just take space. Force your way. Like an Overwatch Force tank. your will on someone. Exactly. Like Harvey Weinstein in wow. high school. On high, in high school? Yeah. I think he did that out of high school. Well, you know, maybe he went back. Maybe. Oh. No way, yeah, no. maybe he's involved in the other circle. We're both of us. Wait a minute, Jonas. This is awful. But I just came to a realization oh, no. that both of those guys were Jewish. Who? Weinstein, Weinstein Epstein? Is a Jew is a Jewish name, and Epstein is a Jewish name. Oh, well, yeah. Not that that's not that that means anything. It's just a realization. Yeah, their do. last names could have been Jackson and Powell, and I'd be like, oh, okay. But well, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not an anti-Semite, Jonas. Stop looking at me like I'm an anti-Semite. Looking at your racist words. I'm not racist. <laughs> I was just realizing that our Epstein and Weinstein. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. the Steen, the Steens are dirty sometimes. Whoa. <laughs> Win Ben Steen's money. Oh, I used to love that show. It was, so dumb. <laughs> it was such a dumb show. Oh, man. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Go watch some Ben Stein's money on YouTube for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are out. <coughs>